Hi, my name is Mike and welcome to Camp Brood. Today, we are going to the water with our review of the presidential houseboat available for rent at Safe Harbor Jamestown Marina in Lake Cumberland, Kentucky. We hope you enjoy the video and learn from our experience with this review. Let's start with the upper deck, which includes a hot tub, tube slide entrance, three chaise lounge chairs, a patio set with four chairs and table, and the upper level bridge with steering and throttle controls. The canopy over the top deck is spacious and provides a lot of shade, while the open area on the rest of the deck has plenty of room for catching a lot of sun. We had mobile phones and portable speakers for entertainment and use these a lot on the upper deck. Make sure you bring binoculars for viewing wildlife and other faraway things that catch your eye. Inside the boat from front to back is again spacious. The main bridge has full boat controls and includes the generator start and water pump switches. The living room includes TV DVD, armchair and couch. We also used the floor to relax and watch a couple of movies. The galley includes a fully stocked kitchen with coffee maker, refrigerator, microwave, stove, toaster, and double bowl sink. You'll want to bring your own paper towels, paper plates, and plastic utensils if you don't want to do a lot of dishes. We found plenty of regular dishes, utensils, pots, and pans, washcloths, and drying towels. Make sure you bring all the seasoning you need, like salt, pepper, steak seasoning, um, those types of things. The kitchen table seats six and is elevated with bar stools, so you can stand at the table as well. The second back half of the boat includes all the bedrooms and two full bathrooms. The bathrooms are supplied with toilet paper and only use their paper for special boat septic storage tanks. The bathrooms were also stocked with towels, soap, and shampoo. If you use your own toilet paper, you could ruin the septic and uh, cause clogs and make your toilets inoperable. There are six rooms with mattresses in the boat and we comfortably slept five kids and six adults. Each mattress comes with two pillow sheets and one blanket. Bring, it, bring extra if you need it. The staff do a great job cleaning the boat. The linen and towels were sharp and clean and when you return the boat you will be surprised at the condition you leave the boat with normal wear and tear compared to how awesome the boat looked when you first stepped on. There is a lower berth to the right of the microwave behind the kitchen table. The switches, outlets, and lights are a little confusing. Some of the switches power the outlets and some switches power outlets and lights together. There are many switches that we had no idea what they did. There is also a sink and cabinet between two lower berths midship. The captain's suite includes more storage than the other berths and a TV DVD setup. It also has a door wall to the back swim deck. There's a hallway to get around the captain's suite where we found a clothes dryer and additional storage and all the life jackets. Now moving to the outside of the boat. The extreme rear of the boat has a small swim deck that includes a spiral stairway to the top deck, air conditioner, and a small space where we stored pedal boards and inflatables. The propellers are back here behind the ladder. Whenever getting in the water, confirm the boat is in neutral. It takes discipline with the boat captain as the distance from the front of the boat where the pilot house is and the steering controls to the back of the boat is significant. In the front of the boat is a larger deck with propane grill, large garbage can, table, and six chairs. There are also steps up to the top deck. Finally, here are some tips we learned during our vacation. Hang your towels and suits on the canopy structure above the hot tub to dry out. Pack a brush or other tool to clean pots and pans. Pack a lighter for starting campfires or birthday candles if you're celebrating. Bring firewood and supplies to start a fire on the beach. Bring camp chairs for the back swim platforms and generally extra seating and also for chairs when you're on the beach. If you can bring a boat, kayak, or personal watercraft as a dinghy to get from the boat to the marina to grab ice or to explore the tighter areas of the lake, uh, it'll really make your experience much better. Walking on the top deck makes a lot of noise inside, so tread lightly while others are sleeping. Bring or ask for additional boat lines. We brought extra and it made it easier to tie the boat to shore. The generator produces dirty power. What we mean by that is that it's not the same power that you get in your house when you're tied to the electrical grid. It's, it's just a little different. We brought an ice maker, but there wasn't enough watts to make ice. Additionally, because of the switches and how the outlets work with them, it took a day or two to figure out the best way to charge devices. Plan on it taking longer to charge iPads and other devices with large batteries. 
Pack plenty of ice and coolers. With a full boat of people, there isn't enough freezer refrigerator space to keep drinks cold. If you lose water, check the switch on the boat control board. We lost water when someone accidentally turned the pump off. And it took us a minute to remember that uh, there was a switch. Pay attention to the boat walkthrough and ask them to show you twice. It goes fast and they are happy to slow down and provide you time to ask questions and go over stuff a second time. If you have more than one houseboat, bring portable CB radios or at least walkie-talkies. We found them helpful for our group. The boat does have ship-to-shore radios and cell phones work more than half the time on the lake. Bring a dry erase marker to plot your route on the map so you don't get lost. Bring a sharpie to mark drinks with names. In summary, you get what you pay for and we got a great time. The boats are seaworthy and sound, but they are not new. Not everything works on these boats anymore, but the Presidential has a great layout and they do a great job to keep the important items running well. For example, the air conditioning worked great and the inside of the boat was comfortable with temperatures exceeding 90 degrees outside. The boats are easy to operate and the manual and customer service by phone makes up for a light that doesn't work or a doorknob that is a little damaged. Choose to go to Lake Cumberland and choose this boat. We had a great time and hope you enjoy your trip too. Thanks for your time here at Camp Brood. Please like and subscribe, comment and ask questions, and have a great rest of your day.